Okay, how's it going guys? So today we're gonna talk about a question I get often, which is what is your best or favorite lure for catching X? And most times it's ahi, but I normally answer that question with a question like for instance, if you say um, you wanna catch ahi, and I'll ask you, okay, well, are you gonna go out there and specifically only catch an ahi and take the chance of not coming home with anything else. And a lot of times the answer to that will be, well, I like catch ahi, but I like catch my mai and I like catch ono and I like catch everything, right? So for me, I look at lures as, as tools, as screwdrivers and hammers. Um, or if you're a golfer, you got X amount of golf clubs in your bag because every situation can call for a different tool. Can you get away with using a hammer in the case of a screwdriver? In some cases, yes, and in some cases, no. I'm just gonna go over some of the main, the main shapes that we um, do and try and help you guys understand when or why I would choose to use X design or why X color would be the one to, to pick out. So most times I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, you know, grab a bullet because a bullet is easy to run. It doesn't necessarily matter where you have it as far as front of the wave, back of the wave or whatnot. It's not gonna tangle all your stuff. It's pretty much put it in the water and get it in the general spot and let the um, lure do the work for you. I personally like bullets that for the most part, stay in the water and then it'll come up and kind of do this skittery S turn and then go back in the water. If you're talking specifically um, tunas, then, you know, basically all your old school Japanese feathers are um, bullet shapes. If you think of a cedar plug, like a, that's another old type of lure and that's a bullet shape as well. So a bullet um, and then an invert. That really blunt head of an invert will make this lure run a lot straighter than a bullet, where a bullet will do this side to side thing. An invert will just simply go straight up and down. So this will give you a little more pop and smoke, but it, it'll actually, it'll run more straight than a bullet. And a lot of times you'll get down and stay down longer than a bullet will. So this would be a shape again, that I would use pretty much in any situation alongside, alongside my bullet. So a lot of times there'll be a bullet on one corner and an invert on the other corner and then same thing, maybe like vice versa, an invert on this rigger and a bullet on this rigger. Um, these two lures will keep you out of trouble, especially if you're starting out and they'll catch you pretty much everything you need to need. And then a cut face lure, which obviously will splash and churn and, and zig and zag a lot more than the other two types of lures. And there's a couple of ways that I tend to look at a cut face lure is if the water starts to get nicer and you want a little more action out there, I'll, I'll throw a cut face or two out there. The other thing is a cut face lure might not get bit as much as your other lures at times, but what it will do is um, as the boat's driving by, the fish most likely are looking at your boat and then the action of the cut face lure will draw the attention of the fish to the rest of your lure. So maybe he sees the cut face lure first and then once he moves into your spread, now he'll break off and, and bite a different lure. But the lure that the fish actually bites um, a lot of times is not the lure that it sees as first. So you could think of it as a teaser, but with hooks in it. So um, there's definitely times when cut face lures are preferred. Again, when the water's a lot calmer, a lot of malolo around, or if you see um, it's a lot of surface action bite, then you, you probably wanna go with a little more action in your spread. But also remember that your cut face lures, they're not, only there to hook the fish. They're also there to give some action to the general pattern that you have in the back of your boat. 
So to wrap it up, just make sure you have the right tool, the right lure for the right job. Some, some days um, you're gonna want something a little smaller. Some days you're gonna want something a little bigger, a little heavier. Some days you're gonna want something with more action or less action. And also, some days you'll want the same style of lure in multiples of the same color or different colors. So just make sure your toolbox is well stocked and um, so that you have the right tool for the right day.